found it. That's fantastic. <laughs> Can you run a little faster some days? Yeah. But gun it off through the first season. So now we got to see if we're true to our word about what this really means. So good. You want a little more? Was it real? Like sure it was. You're still in Old Canadian. You're still here, right? Me, mission accomplished. I'm proud of you. So we're here with Andrew Sakafian, the 2012 CIS cross country champion. Um, Andrew, you came in with a lot of confidence in this race, uh, more so than maybe years previous. Why the confidence this year? Um, I just felt really ready the day of. I was just really relaxed and ready to execute. Um, I think the confidence came from the training that we had done all season. Like some of our workouts were really mind blowing and I just knew that no other team was working as hard as we were. And I just had a lot of confidence in Dave and in the team and just the work we have been doing all season. Great, so uh, after you crossed the line, um your own uh, victory in your hands. What did it mean uh, to have another team title, an eighth uh, title in a row for the Griffins? Yeah, the team title is really exciting, um, especially having two Griffins on the podium. I think that was probably one of the first time for the women, maybe ever, so that was exciting. Um, it means that we're just on this dominant streak and I think it's really great for the school and really great uh, for the CIS to kind of have something to shoot towards and our girls team just keeps getting stronger and stronger like one two four six eight is kind of unprecedented like um probably the best score since uh, like i don't even know the 80s or something so it's just kind of like we keep beating our own score and i think that's great so in terms of the griffins were there any other standout results that you noticed after the race yeah i think everyone ran extremely well um especially carice uh we had talked the night before and I knew she had wanted to medal and so when I came over the line I turned around and she was right behind me. It was just so heartwarming and awesome and our rookie Madeline ran extremely well coming in sixth as well. So tell us about the transition from running um, NCAA to coming uh, back up to Canada to run in the CIS a couple of years ago. Um, I think, I mean the transition has been really good for me. It was kind of really nerve-wracking at the beginning but Running in the CIS is not something that should be looked down upon by any, any means. And like, um, the school I went to in the States wasn't exactly the most competitive um, all around. Like, they've had some good runners in the past, but I definitely wasn't at the level I wanted to be. Um, so running in the CIS has just kind of been a confidence boost. With this title on your belt, uh, what are your future plans for racing in terms of 2012? Um, or 2013, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we have the indoor season coming up, and I'm going to be focusing on the 3K and the 15. Um, at CIs, I just want to score as many points as I can for the team because we're looking to win the titles there. Um, hopefully, podium spot in both, and then uh, go into the summer and run some 5Ks and hopefully qualify for FISU. Um, and then a year of post-collegiate running. There you go. Great. Well, uh, congratulations on your win, and thanks so much for joining us. Thank